question number two is similar to number one in that you're making substitutions into an expression and then combining, uh, trying to combine summations. In this case, we have a second derivative, and we already calculated the first derivative, so let's uh, follow suit and calculate the second derivative by carrying down the exponent and then decreasing the exponent by 1. So our second derivative is going to be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity, cn, times n, times m minus 1, times x to the m minus 2. Okay, now making my substitutions into this uh, expression, I'm I'll have x times my second derivative, there it is, x times my second derivative minus y. And again, in order to combine these, we want these powers of x to be the same, and we want our uh, index, the summations, to start and end at the same place. Uh, before, before we make our substitutions so that we can change the index, what I want to do is I want to combine these powers of x in my first term. Outside the sum, I have x to the first power. I'm going to bring that x inside, and bringing this x inside, we're going to add 1, because we're multiplying by x to the first, add 1 to the exponent so that this exponent becomes x to the n minus 1. Okay. Now that our terms are brought inside, now we can make that change of variable. We want k in each case to equal the exponent on the x. And so in this first summation, I want k to be equal to n minus 1. And in the second summation, I want k to be equal to n. And again, if k is m minus 1, then n is k plus 1. Here I've made my change of variable. Notice that if n is 0, then k is going to be negative 1. So this first summation starts at negative 1. And wherever I see n, I'll replace it with k plus 1. My subscript on my c becomes k plus 1. This n that I have up here becomes k plus 1. And minus 1 is the same as k. That's my k. And my exponent on the x becomes k, x to the k. On my second summation, I'm just changing each one of these ends to uh, k. So I have summation as k goes from 0 to infinity, ck times x to the k. Now that I have the same power of x in both case, cases, I need to have the same uh, starting place for the, for the index. And so we want to expand this first summation take out the first term when k is equal to negative 1 and when k is equal to negative 1 this becomes c0 times 0 times uh, this actually should be negative 1 times negative 1 x to the negative first plus and then I have my 0 through infinity term and this expression just gets copied uh, minus my second term. And here this first uh, expansion becomes 0 because you're multiplying by 0 here. So that drops out. And you can combine these two summations into a single summation by uh, uh, when we combine them we're going to factor out the x to the k that's my x to the k that I factored out. My sum goes from 0 to infinity. Sum goes from 0 to infinity. And my first term is c k plus 1 times k plus 1 times k. That's from my first term up here. 
and my second term is minus CK, minus CK.